In this video, we will learn what is web to search, why it is becoming so important for businesses, and how to get started with building production quality web to search services with Google Cloud Vertex AI. Did you know that you use dozens of different web to search services every day? Web to search technology is now one of the most essential component in AI ML services, just like the relational databases in IT systems. For example, Google uses vector search to organize data across its various services, such as Google Search, YouTube, and Google Play, to provide search results and recommendations that are relevant to users. Vector search can also be used for search and recommendation of different types of things in businesses, such as products, users, user activities, conversations, music and videos, and signals from IoT sensors. In the age of generative AI, Vector search is becoming more and more a crucial part. For example, this demo uses vector search to find product items matching the query handmade accessories with black and white beads from 6 million product items in milliseconds. Notably, it does not use any item titles, descriptions, or tags for the search. Instead, it retrieves the results by looking only at the item images. This kind of multimodal search is made possible with a combination of vector search and Gen AI models. You may be wondering what the difference is between traditional databases and vector search technology. In traditional IT systems, most data is organized as structured or tabular data using simple keywords, labels, and categories in databases and keyword-based search engines. Unlike the traditional IT systems, modern AI-based services use a simple data structure called embedding, which is a special type of vector. Let's see how AI organizes data using embeddings. Once trained with a specific content like text, images, or any content, AI creates a space called embedding space, which is essentially a map of the content's meaning. AI can identify the location of each content on the map. That's what embedding is. Let's take an example where a text discusses movies, music, and actors with a distribution of 10%, 2%, and 30% respectively. In this case, the AI can create an embedding with three values, 0 0.1, 0 0.02, and 0.3 in three-dimensional space. And AI can put the content with similar meanings closely together in this space. Please keep in mind that this is a simplified example for illustrative purposes. In reality, embedding spaces can have hundreds or thousands of dimensions, which can capture subtle differences or nuances in the content and sort it into an almost infinite number of different categories. Let's see how the real embedding space looks like. Here you can see the 6 million images are sorted into extremely specific categories by their meaning, providing a glimpse into the human-level intelligence that GenAI model has. Using vector search with this embedding space, you can find items by their meanings in milliseconds, which was almost impossible with traditional databases and keyword-based search engines. Vector search and embeddings are now playing a crucial role in creating a new way of human-computer interaction. AI organizes data into embeddings, which represent what users are really looking for, the meaning of content, or the essential signatures of your business data. Vector search can find these embeddings in milliseconds, creating a new level of user experience that is becoming the new standard. As vector search becomes as essential to many IT systems as databases, many people are looking for ways to build production-ready vector search services. Google has a long history in this area. Let's explore how Google has developed its highly scalable and reliable vector search infrastructure, which underpins many major Google services. Embeddings are vectors, lists of hundreds of numbers. To find similar embeddings, we can simply calculate the distance between two embeddings and select the closer ones. But calculating this for millions of embeddings can be challenging. For example, if you have 8 million embeddings with 700 dimensions, you would need to perform 8 million times 700 calculations. This would take tens of seconds. Researchers are studying a technique called Approximate Nearest Neighbor, or ANN, to speed up vector search. ANN uses vector quantization to divide the space into multiple spaces with a tree structure, similar to an index in a database. This enables very fast and scalable search with billions of embeddings. 
In 2020, Google Research published Scan, a new ANN algorithm that is considered one of the best in the industry and the most important foundation for search and recommendation in major Google services like Google Search, YouTube, and many others. Scan is the foundation of Google's business user experience and core competency in pursuing its mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Google Cloud developers can now take full advantage of Google's scan-based vector search technology with Vertex AI Search. It is a fully managed service that makes it easy to add embeddings to an index and perform blazingly fast vector searches with a simple search query. Vector Search offers not only top-notch performance, but also high scalability and reliability, making it a solid foundation for Google-scale enterprise services. With its tight integration with Google Cloud services like BigQuery, Vertex AI Embeddings API, and Feature Store, you can quickly build and operate a production ML ops pipeline for data extraction, embedding generation, and sharing, and embedding search all in one platform. Let's take a look at how vector search can be easily used for building a production service in enterprises. For example, what if you want to show similar items to a specific item the user specified? First, you get embeddings for each item. Second, build an index on vector search with the embeddings. Then you can just run a query on vector search to find similar items by their names. That's it, let's get started. This is the BigQuery table of the items and their names. In this example, let's simply use embeddings for the item names. You can also use descriptions or images to capture more detailed meanings with the embeddings. On BigQuery, it's so easy to get embeddings for text. Just use ml.embedTeXt function in your query, so you will get the embeddings for the specified text column. Despite of the simplicity, what you are getting here is the state-of-the-art LLM-powered text embeddings. That means they are carefully organized in the embedding space with the human-level intelligence and common sense, as we saw earlier. Then, export the embeddings as a JSON file on a cloud storage. This is the exported JSON file. Each embedding row has 768 dimensions that represents the meaning of an item name. Next, create an index with vector store. You can specify the cloud storage path of the JSON file along with the parameters such as the dimensions, number of items to fetch, similarity measure type, etc. If you are building an index with small or mid-sized item table, this process should finish within some minutes. The last thing is to deploy the index on an index endpoint that receives the query request from your frontend and execute the vector search. Now it's ready to serve. You can run a query by passing an embedding of the specified item. So you will receive a list of similar items within tens of milliseconds. Please note that this is not just a keyword search on the item names. This is a so-called semantic search, finding items by understanding the meaning of the names with the power of LLM. So you can expect much better user experience for exploring and spotting relevant items. That's it. Once you get the embeddings based on what you want to do, then using vector search is quite simple and doesn't require any rocket science as we saw. Vector search have already been deployed in many customers' production systems. For example, Mercury, the popular marketplace app, uses the technology for showing product recommendations. They were able to build and deploy the system within one month with one person, significantly reduce the time and cost for AI service development. Would you like to bring the faxes with AI to your business? Please go to this URL to get started with vector search.